This is my Mario 1 themed guitar amplifier. It is a 4 inch full range speaker uh, mounted into a PVC pipe and it is my best sounding guitar amp by far. Definitely the cleanest one I've got and it looks really cool too. Features a, a class D amplifier circuit that's capable of reaching over 60 watts uh, and it's got built-in reverb, tone, volume control and this knob is a fourth knob for Mario Brothers sound effects. Coming soon. This is the pipe piece. You can see it's still got some black markings on it. Now we want to get all that off, so I've got some acetone here. You want to make sure you get the mar black markings off unless you're painting it black. You definitely need to do this outside. So you, can see you can just kind of wipe about 90% of that junk off with this, uh, just with acetone. Doesn't have to be perfect. It'll be uh, this will be just fine for for getting started. So this is the main body of the pipe here, uh, with the cutouts and so forth. I've got it kind of upside down right now. Uh, so what we want to do is stick the little short piece into here, and it's hole sawed, so it might be a little bit rough, but we just gotta test fit it here, make sure we can get it kind of fit in place. Just like that, and we're gonna bond that in. We have some, uh, this is PVC pipe cement. All right, inside there's a funny ball with the gunk all over it. You don't need a whole lot of it. But you gotta work real quick, so I'm gonna put this down in the safe place. And we're just gonna go around the inside here. It's gonna melt the PVC usually put a ring out here too and it'll actually lubricate it a little bit so now it's nice and smooth in there and already I can feel it's setting okay so now we've got the same PVC glue we're gonna glue the uh, next piece on here again we're going for a Mario Brothers look so uh, we're gonna try to keep make this thing look a little bit authentic you really again you don't need much this stuff is incredibly powerful so we'll just brush a little bit on, make sure the cap's tight. And now it's a little bit lubricated, so it uh, should be a little bit easier putting this piece on. And again, it's going to set in three seconds, so you got three seconds to get it where you want it. And then we'll do the next one. I've got two rings here for the next part. Um, they're just a coupling that was cut in half, and this part of the coupling ha still has the inner ledge on it. Uh, here, so I'm going to use that on the bottom, like so, and then the other cut half of the coupling is going to go on the top. Again, grab that PVC glue, get some of the stuff off the top here, and I'll just go around the outside edge. Push it on nice and fast because again it sets in seconds. I'll flip it over and now we'll do the speaker side. And there we go. 
Now we're going to caulk a little bit just to make a little bit of a cleaner look in some spots. So you can just go around the edge here with some caulk. Usually if you want to smooth it out, you just get your finger wet and roll around the edge like this. Try to just make this look a little nicer down here. Again, you don't need this for any kind of reason other than cosmetic. Get your finger wet. Paint uh, also bonds to plastic, that's important for uh, painting PVC pipes. I'll just do a couple of coats of this then. So we're happy with how the color comes out. Here's the pipe all covered in stripy tape for uh, its next color green. Ready to go. Here's the pinstriped pipe. All done, and we're trying to mount the speaker in the top now. Here's the base uh, for the Mario Brothers themed uh, PVC pipe amp. I spray painted this uh, block of wood black and then covered it with tape, uh, three quarter inch wide tape uh, to make the bricks. And we're going to go ahead and spray paint that red now. So if you want to reduce noise on here, uh, there's a trick we can do, and here's the noise that I'm finding. If we turn the power on, turn the volume up, and just let it hang, uh, you'll hear noise. Let me get my finger near the front of the board, particularly near the uh, integrated circuit. Nowhere on the board, well, over here makes some noise too. Uh, so this area we want to shield a little bit, and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so here's the board, and the area again where the noise picks up uh, is somewhere over this region. I'm just going to take some 2 inch wide packing tape and stick that over the bottom of the board. This is actually two layers of packing tape. I'm pushing it all the way to the front where the face plate is. And what we don't want to do, we don't want to puncture a hole through this. So you got to make sure your pins are nice and, and uh, cut short here. And it's kind of loose. It's not really stuck on that well, admittedly. Uh, then we're going to take some aluminum duct tape and tape this in here. And I want to put it on such that there's a little bit of packing tape showing on the bottom of the circuit board. That's going to push the aluminum up to the front of the board and we're actually going to loosen the knobs on the front side, separate the board and tuck that under so that it touches the aluminum faceplate. That'll give it something to ground to. Alright, so I've taken the circuit board out. I have the tape here. I'm just going to pop this off. It's a little bit narrower than the circuit board. And I'll leave about an eighth inch to three sixteenths of an inch of packing tape showing along the bottom and simply just kind of push it along the packing tape here. Again, make sure that aluminum does not touch any of the circuit board on the bottom or you'll short out the circuit. You don't want to do that. So here's the circuit board with the aluminum tape on top of the packing tape. Aluminum tape tucked touching the front uh, face plate. Uh, I've actually turned it on. I've got the volume cranked all the way up and i uh, got to let it Gotta let it hang here. No noise at all when I move my finger around down here. I can even touch the aluminum and I don't get any noise. It's nice and silent. Thank you. 